So it's kind of beautiful when you see this woman go on these shows and have no idea what she's talking about when the questions are not even particularly difficult, right? So bravo, bravo 60 Minutes, you did a nice job over there and the, and the job should be acknowledged and everything else. That is, uh, I would say, very few and far between as it become, as it pertains to the mainstream media, which glazes the hell out of her. Now, those of you of a certain age may not know what glazes means. You might think it has something to do with a donut. Uh, but I've been informed by my Gen Z employees that glazing is sort of uh, what we used to call filleting. Uh, if you were just on your knees filleting someone, that is what the kids now call glazing. So here's Brian Stelter and the CNN crew glazing over Miss Harris's media appearances. Brian, Harris has been criticized for not giving enough interviews. Do you think that this new media blitz satisfies some of that criticism? Well, she's on 60 Minutes tonight. That's the most watched news magazine in the United States. Donald Trump initially agreed to be on 60 Minutes. Then he backed out. I feel like he's getting off pretty easy. Imagine if Harris had agreed to be 60 Minutes and then backed out. I think she would have been vigorously criticized. So Trump choosing not to do 60 Minutes. Harris is on there. That will certainly be an ex example of tough questioning of the vice president. She's also on The View tomorrow. I was talking to producers at The View last night. They have some sharp questions for her as well. And, and let's remember, sometimes it's these non-traditional formats that actually reveal a lot about candidates. Remember when Kamala Harris was sitting down with Oprah Winfrey a couple weeks ago, and that's when uh, Harris said, if somebody breaks into my house, they're getting shot. That was a very revealing soundbite, even though it was a friendly interview for Harris. And, and that's why I thought Call Her Daddy was really interesting as well. The interview actually revealed a lot about the candidate. And ultimately, that's what the Harris campaign is trying to do. All right, so whether you're old school like me and you call that filleting, or whether you're new school like the young people in this room and you call that glazing, uh, first I'd like to congratulate Brian Stelter on the Ozempic. It is clearly working. Just uh, make sure you cut it off before you turn into nothing. I mean, you're a human nothing, but you don't want to completely disintegrate. Um, oh, yes. The, what did he call The View? The View is non-traditional media. The View is non-traditional. Oh, yes, The View is really going to ask the tough questions of her. You have to understand what she just did by going on 60 Minutes and being asked the most basic questions and floundering like that. And I get it, I get it. There are certain people, there's a certain set of people that she could literally get up there and they could be like, um, can you explain your economic policy? And she could be like, Bleh. And they would be like, I'm voting for her, I love her. Oh my God, she's a man. Oh my God, brat, queen, Bleh. But as we pull back that curtain and just see what frauds all of these people are, they just keep going and gaslighting us. They, that is all they do. Uh, now I want to show you, and I, you know, I always try to do this. I really try. It, it's hard to do sometimes, but every now and again they say something sane because when you look past the curtain, you see it's all bull. They need to every now and again throw you a crumb so that it doesn't seem all bull. So Dana Bash and I always tell you, I'm very interested in this woman because there's nothing behind her eyes. She, I, I think she's a CIA operative. Like I don't know what's going on there. I, something is not right over there. Uh, but here she is, uh, actually kind of saying something true, which is that these interviews are not going particularly well, and that's reflected in how people think of her and no one is watching the and rallies. they're not just... moving the needle exactly the I mean needle. this is not me yeah. saying this this is the yeah. Harris people privately saying we, we need to move the needle it is it's stuck. not moving. it is a stubborn